Hey guys, today you're gonna get back your mineral painting, which should be completely painted by now. You'll also need to get a black sheet of paper off of the front counter. Put your name on it right away. As you see, you're in my three and whatever class you're in. Flip it over and everything else should be at your table, which should be Sharpies and rulers. I know that I don't have a ton of Sharpies, so you may have to take turns. So if you're somebody who ends up with the Sharpie right away, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use those rulers to trace all those lines that you drew on your Sharpie. Or trace all those lines that you drew on your mineral, excuse me. So I'm lining up that ruler every single time. So that way my lines are super duper straight. This is gonna help cover up if we had any bad paint lines that may have gone outside the edge, helps clean it up just a bit. After you've sharpied all of your pencil lines, you can pass the Sharpie on to one of your neighbors who has not used it. Don't forget to use that ruler every single line so we keep our little straight lines. If your Sharpie isn't working very well, let me know. Sometimes this paint kind of clogs up our Sharpies, so just raise your hand and give me a heads up. If you are finished doing this or you're waiting for a Sharpie, what you can do is cut out your mineral then. Do a super nice job. There should be a lot of straight edges. Now that I've got my mineral cut out, the very last thing I need to do is I need to glue a whole bunch of cardboard pieces on the back of this and glue this onto the background. Right? So you should have some cardboard at your table. All it takes is a little squiggle of glue I would use more than a dot today, something like this. And just place them around the edge. And maybe a couple in the middle too. All right, so I've got some cardboard pieces glued onto the back of my mineral. Put a little bit of glue on the other side of these and then this can get flipped over and glued down. You're gonna wanna make sure you give this one a good back massage when you flip it over onto your background. Something like this. Give it a little back rub. These go on the drying rack carefully when we're finished. All right. So first you're drawing your lines. Make sure to use a ruler. Then you can cut it out and glue on cardboard pieces and then it goes on the background. If you don't end up with the Sharpie right away, cut it out and wait for your neighbor to finish using up their Sharpie. All right. When you're done, clean up your spot. 